Nearly 17,000 striking auto workers have left the picket lines after the union reached a tentative agreement with Ford. WGN's Andrea Medina reports from Hegwish, where she spoke with local union members. Now that the strike is over and a tentative deal is on the table, union members describe it as a huge victory. On Chicago's east side, local 551 union members lit the sky up Wednesday evening after the United Auto Workers Union reached a tentative labor deal with Ford Motor Company. There was a big sigh of relief last night and a lot of celebration. Ford is the first of Detroit's big three automakers to negotiate a settlement after thousands of workers walked off the job in mid-September. The plant at Hegwich was on strike for 27 days. The not knowing is, is the hardest part, I think, for a lot of the people on the picket line. And now that we have um, a tentative agreement, you know, all that washed away. The contract still needs to be approved by UAW leadership and union members. But local 551 representatives say the union won major concessions during negotiations. Uh, cost of living allowance was gained back. Um, it looks like our wages are increasing by 25%. Um, you add that with the cost of living allowance and we're almost at that 40% raise and uh, pensions were talked about that we gained. This is monumental. We just eliminated that wage tier. Everybody's getting a good raise. But the vice president of Local 551 says the agreement will be a no-go if it doesn't vow to include electric vehicle plant workers. Because if we don't get the commitment for the EVs, our future is basically just shot. We're just bargaining for what we have here in the next couple of years and nothing in the future. In response to the Ford strike ending, General Motors says, quote, we are working constructively with the UAW to reach a tentative agreement as soon as possible. Stellantis also responded by saying, quote, we remain committed to working toward a tentative agreement that gets everyone back to work as soon as possible. As Ford goes back to building cars, we're hoping that GM and Stellantis get the message and puts pressure on them to come to the bargaining table a lot quicker and come to a tentative agreement a lot faster. But until that happens, the union representatives <laughs> say they'll be supporting their union brothers and sisters by standing in solidarity on the picket and assembly lines. We could have settled a long time ago if they would have just invested in the people that are making these, these billion dollar profits. Ford plant employees can work while the agreement goes through the ratification process. Local 551 union members are just waiting to get the call to head back into production. Reporting in Hegwish, Andrea Medina, WGN News.